Can you explain macro and micro gravity? Macro gravity relates to the premise of gravity being caused by distortion to the surface of space time, as in Einstein's general theory of relativity. On the other hand, microgravity refers to the premise of quantum gravity, or the effect that attracts electrons into orbit around atomic nuclei. While modern quantum astrophysics cannot figure out how these two very different size scale forces are reconcilable, if one considers gravity as being an effect transmitted by tachyon quanta in a zero-point energy field, faster than light and smaller than a micron, then the effect of gravity is a matter of a cumulative field of such tachyon quanta in both cases. Of course, one may not end up needing such a luminiferous ether field to account for the force of gravity, but if one factors one into explaining the force of gravity, it will certainly make more sense. Consider that the strong, the strong nuclear force of fusion, the weak nuclear force of fission, and the electromagnetic force all have, to some extent, a repulsive or repellent effect that the force of gravity alone seems to not only lack, but to oppose. Gravity is an ever-attractive force, but it may still be possible to reconcile it with this repulsive trait of the other forces if one considers apparent attraction actually is repulsion, just seen backwards chronologically. If we measure the fastest rate of time as light speed, but say the tachyon quanta exceed this velocity, it raises the possibility that the force these tachyons carry can move faster than time, and so possibly even backwards in time. This, in turn, poses the possibility that tachyon quanta may be a repulsive, force-carrying field, simply operating in reverse to our own local continuum's chronology and thus having an attractive effect on all larger scales of matter energy. In short, I propose that tachyons are the quanta of gravity.